hi and welcome back everyone all right so today we're doing a review on big brother canada season 12 episode 29 which is the season's finale we're finally at the end of big brother canada and it's bittersweet because at the same time i want it to end but at the same time i do not want it to end because it has been giving us according to we nigerians bass boasts like back and forth back and forth like highs lows middle see like okay we had some downtime but it picked up like there were a lot of memorable moments in big brother season two i mean season 12 like there was a lot like but anyway trees i digress so back into the review of big brother canada season 12 episode 29 all right so remember we had top three which were um big papi aka anthony um bailey and lexus all right so here we had um them play part three three parts of the head of household competition all right the first one anthony won that with a landslide like there psh, there was no way they were going to meet him he did that with so much precision patience like i wouldn't have thought he was going to win that but he did that as in when it was time to win he won that the second one we saw bailey win over lexus and the third one anthony took that as well which meant anthony could pick who he wanted to go with him to top two or final two right so before we get there let's pause on that and let's take it back a bit all right so arasa invited the five um housemates that were eliminated there she asked them questions most especially donna she asked donna okay since she remembers that she and bailey they were tight while they were in the house then how does she feel about bailey's game and donna was like she's proud of bailey she, she's proud of how she played the game she was resilient everything that she needed to do she did that to a t and she's proud of her accomplishments then they also asked our half of the showman's matthew what he thought about lexus he said he was proud of her as well that she opened up a bit showed a bit of her that people didn't know was in her so he was proud of her for actually playing the game well and also sharing a little bit of herself with the public yeah so obviously they had to bring out the jurors so obviously everybody was not having it with anthony in their minds obviously based on the conversations they had a day before with kevin all right so now Ressa told them that okay someone else come to join their posse and lo and behold who comes out lexus because a lot of people were thinking it was going to be anthony or someone but that wasn't the case it was lexus that came out you could see on tola's face that tola was so upset that for someone that's been preaching loyalty 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 he took his people out like so where's the loyalty there even when lexus was going out she says oh remember you said you're going to choose loyalty over money anytime any day but i guess i'm wrong you chose money over loyalty that gonna sting man because i would have felt it a bit like wow my person is coming out for me but anyway choose yeah that's what happened and um so it was left with just him that's anthony and bailey left making them the top two finalists in the game yeah so anyway trace so everybody arresta told them okay now is the time for you to ask your questions and that will help decide who will win big brother canada season 12 but before then canada has been voting for the their best housemates since and before they said um picking who they wanted to win obviously they had to call the winner of the best housemates and guess who wins that the tordinator wins that exactly and he wins ten thousand dollars for him being the goofiest the most down-to-earth player even if he was insane in some parts but it was a problem diffuser each time everybody's having trying to attempt to have a fight he's there being a goofy ass and making everybody forget oh we're quarreling or trying to have an argument and just cool down the situation which i'm happy canada saw that yes he was worthy of winning 
that position and winning ten thousand dollars minus what she has won in the house so i'm happy for todd that at least there's something to prove that okay even if you don't win the big box but you can win something all right so we're happy about that so now since the jurors were complete arisana asked them okay it's time for you to vote but before you vote this is your chance to ask questions to the top two so everybody asked their questions as in deep questions asking them and i loved the way bailey was dropping it she and um, anthony were just dropping bars like ping pong pom, 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 like back to back and bailey had some rhymes man the one that even made me lose my mind almost when she says oh i'm sitting close i'm sitting next to a king but in chess a king can't play much but a queen she plays a lot because she makes moves ah god i'm like ah bailey as she was giving us bass bows like dropping bars man like giving instances based on the questions she was asked giving instances of how she played the game to our best of her ability letting them know that even if she didn't have too much power but she kept to her word. she was loyal she did not stray from whatever she said to someone unlike anthony that people have already seen her always preaching loyalty loyalty lo but half of his people did not make it to top three because if you're loyal you would have kicked out everyone and you and your passes move but that wasn't the case you get so everybody thought about it weighed their whole situation like mm, rah. between him and her who do you think would actually make a better winner and as you have it the voting concluded and Aresa decided to call out base um players that voted and who they voted for so first up she she called elijah and elijah aka goose picked anthony i'm like make it make sense are you waiting for him to give you five dollars or five hundred dollars if he wins like make it make sense but then again i know i've been hard on anthony throughout the season because he wasn't playing wasn't giving us the big baboski style of like past like mm -mm, he wasn't giving it so for me i was upset that he was still riding and nobody took him out you get so any retreats he picked anthony and the rest of the other um jurors picked bailey which made her the winner of big brother canada season 12 a well-deserved win like yo if anybody had told me that bailey was going to stay this long enter top two and then beat anthony i wouldn't have believed i wouldn't have seen that coming i wouldn't have even thought she was going to last this long but she did she made everybody proud in how she played her game and i am so happy that the rightful person won big brother canada because if anthony had won i would have been pissed it's not as if i could have done anything but i would have been really 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 pissed but anyway Jay, remember what i always say we are building our community one block at a time so don't forget to subscribe share comment let me know if i'm doing well if i need to improve see i'm open to crit criticism i'm not like oh my god no drop it like it's hot let's have a conversation and i'm happy this summer big brother us is coming out as well so we're going to have more reviews on big brother hey 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 i'm so happy i know i'm a goofy person all right without further ado see you on the flip side Bye.